this is a tutorial on how to make an icon for Rocket Dock or a similar application. First, open up Adobe Photoshop, then create a new image by file, new, and name anything you want. I just put icon, uh, then OK. Now you can zoom in a little bit just to uh, get a better view of it. So use the selection tool and create a box. Um, any size really, but just make sure it looks close to a square. It doesn't have to be centered or anything, but just something that's close to a square. Then fill it with black by um, alt backspace to make a red or black square. Then um, what you can do is blue, pick a blue color, anything. This is just a simple media icon for play. So make another square that's just a little bit smaller and then fill it. And then you can pick a darker blue, I guess. Um, it doesn't really matter what colors you choose. I'm just using blue. And then you can use a gradient to make it look like a gradient. Then you can deselect. And then change it to elliptical marquee tool. And instead of a square, it'll be a circle. You can hold shift to make it a perfect circle. And then go to make it in the middle, I messed up here, but um, to make it go to the middle, what you can do is go select, um, and then transform selection, and just move it until it's basically in the center. And then um, press enter, and it should save your changes. Then you can change the color to an orange, if you want to. Then fill it by alt backspace again. After that, uh, deselect, and I'm going to create the play button now. What you can do is um, create a new layer by Control Shift N, and then hit OK. Then go to the uh, lasso tool and create a triangle as close as you can to that. Mine's a little bit messed up, but gets the point done. Then uh, do the same thing in transform selection to put it in the middle. You might want to rotate a little bit like I had to do if you need to. And press enter to apply it. After that, um, I put mine as white and I just filled it with alt backspace. Then uh, go to blending options and do a drop shadow. I think that looks better. If you want to, you can do outer glow, but I prefer just drop shadow. Then, to make it look a little bit better, uh, you can create a new layer the same way. And to select just the um, orange, just go to the background and click on it. And then um, you can do an effect let's see, by uh, contracting the selection by 10 pixels. I actually put one, but I did it again. And that'll make a smaller selection, and with that you can get a little bit different color of orange, a little bit brighter. You could use your own color scheme though if you want to. Then fill it with alt backspace and move the layer down to in between background and layer 1. And there you should have a pretty nice button. You can change whatever you want, zoom out, just to see what it looks like. Now in order to make it transparent on the rocket dock, you need to take out the background. First you have to duplicate it by right clicking duplicate later, layer or control J. And then there should be two layers. So delete the original background so that you just have the background copy. Then what you do is you take the um, selection tool and select the white area and then just hit Control X to cut it out. And now it should be transparent. Then, in order to save, do File, Save As, and go to PNG, which is Portable Network Graphic, which is near the bottom. Once you find it, just whatever name and then save. Then minimize Photoshop, 
and you should be able to see it on the desktop or wherever you saved it.